Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> All right, hi everyone. We'll start with English. Just raise your hand if you have a question, then we'll switch to national language. I'll get started. Higa, congratulations. Another Roland Garros title, but not also not an easy match. Just talk us through um, how it felt out there today. Oh my God. Do you want to start that roller coaster? Um, no, it was. It's. I, I'm feeling all these, you know, different emotions right now. Uh, it's pretty surreal, everything. But you know, the match was was um, really intense. A lot of ups and downs and uh, stressful moments, and coming back, you know. So I'm pretty happy that at the end I could, you know, be solid in those few last games and and finish it. Uh, but Karina really played uh, well, and uh, it was a big challenge. So I'm happy and really proud of myself that I did it. Hi, good. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you feel that maybe this title feels a bit more special because of some of the struggles you've endured during the season, some battles with injuries, some tough losses, and even today you had to do a lot of problem solving to get through? Well, I don't know. Um, it's pretty hard to compare, you know, because uh, I don't know. Last year, for sure, it was like a confirmation for me that the first time wasn't a uh, coincidence or something like that. Um, and. Um, and this one, for sure, it was a little bit tougher um, in terms of, you know, as you said, injuries and um, the pressure. Um, and also, you know, coming back to this tournament as a defending champion, I right now feel like it's a little bit different, you know. And um, I, I needed to really handle that. And um, I'm super happy that that I managed um, to do that and that Daria helped me as well because for sure, you know, these past three weeks weren't easy. And, um, you know, whole team effort, also, you know, Matic um, taking care of my health and actually managing um, these, you know, little injuries that happened. Um, we know, you know, that it's going to happen in sport, but, you know, he's the reason basically I was able to compete, you know, um, both after, you know, Indian Wells, I came back really quickly and after Rome as well. So really shout out to the team because without them, I wouldn't be here. Hi, Ige, congratulations. Thank I you. just wondered what, what were your emotions at the end? We saw you crouch, crouch down on the clay. Obviously, there were a lot of, uh, lot of emotions flooding out of you, but can you just say a bit what, what you were feeling? I don't know, like at, at first I was surprised because I saw all these matches of Carolina when she was actually, you know, coming back from a scores like that. And I, before the match point, I wasn't really thinking that it's gonna happen now, you know, I just kind of, I just played and I just gave it all. Uh, but I was like a little bit surprised that it actually happened, you know, <laughs> she was always, you know, coming back. So, um, so I felt like, I don't know. I don't know what I felt. <laughs> it's hard to describe, um, but a lot of happiness. And uh, I felt suddenly, you know, tired <laughs> of these three weeks. Um, maybe my matches weren't like physically exhausting, but it's pretty hard to kind of keep your focus for this, even like almost three weeks. And the, also the whole swing, you know, because since uh, Stuttgart, I haven't been home. So um, I'm happy that I I don't know, I finished the whole clay court swing so well and uh, that I kind of survive and I'm, I guess I'm never gonna kind of doubt my strength again, maybe <laughs> because of that. Hi, Iga. Uh, at a set and three love, it was going similarly to some of your other Grand Slam finals here. Could you compare how you felt at that point to how you felt maybe when you were two love down in the deciding set and sort of what was going through your mind? Oh, well, um, well, for sure, you know, um, I felt pretty confident with my game in a second set, but I also knew that it's only one break. Uh, so I needed to stay constantly, you know, aware and like ready for everything, especially playing against Carolina, knowing that she's she's come back from really crazy situation on this tournament, and she managed to you know win those matches. I just wanted to be ready, but um, but for sure I felt like I I let her a little bit into the match, uh, which I shouldn't do. But obviously she's a great player, so she used that chance, and um, and yeah, well. In a third set, I I didn't want to have any regrets about the second. I just kind of looked forward and I said to myself, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna give it all. Um, no thinking, no like, 
I don't know, analyzing, just play my game, use my intuition, and um, that, that really helped. Iga, there was a funny moment when you won the trophy and the lid fell off. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I was going to ask you, what is your reaction to that? And has that ever happened before in your celebrated career? Um, I honestly thought that I'm holding it with my fingers. So I guess um, all these emotions, I don't know, uh, caused that. But um, sorry, I don't mean to be disrespectful. <laughs> um, I, I'm glad that some like grand trophy is fine and um, it was, won't happen again probably, but but we'll see. Um, I just hope I'm going to have a chance to hold it again in future years. Hi, Iga. Uh, you mentioned a moment ago uh, Daria and Thomas. I'm wondering, during the match, especially when things were getting away from you in that second set, you were looking up there quite a bit. I'm wondering, what was that back and forth? What were you hoping for from them? What were they giving you in return? And, and was there anything there that eventually helped you? Well, um, for sure, in second set, I was more looking for some kind of advice and just a view of what I'm doing wrong sometimes, you know? Uh, but in third, I was just, I don't know, I looked at them with no reason. I didn't want anything back. I just kind of felt like, I need to be more courageous and um, and make some good decisions. And I just look at them because I don't know they're always there and they're that kind of support that um, that you can sometimes lean on. So, um, but you no, know, like nothing, nothing really deep. Just I don't know. <laughs> and in that third set, down four three. <clears throat> what was it that you wanted to do and were able to do successfully? to turn things back around? Honestly, I, after so many ups and downs, I kind of stopped thinking about the score. Um, and, um, and I wanted to use my intuition more because, um, because I, I knew that I can play a little bit better if I'm gonna get a little bit more loosened up, you know? And, um, it, it helped for sure in a in a third set, but honestly, this match was like so long with so many ups and downs that I can't really know right now. Um, I'll for sure analyze it and watch it, and then I'll know a little bit more. Okay, Hi, Iga. Congratulations. Um, you. You're one of three players that holds the four major trophies at the moment. Obviously, you have two, and Elena and Arena have the other two, and there is talk of a new big three. I just wondered how you feel about the concept of a new big three, whether you welcome it or whether you feel with your four titles and being world number one that you should be considered separate to the other two. I don't really analyze that because I know that this is something that kind of you guys created and um, and I, I, I understand that fans love that, um, you too. So um, I'm kind of trying to just be focused on, on my work and there's, for me, there's no reason, you know, to do that. Uh, but I look at my clay court season and I see that on every tournament I really played consistently and, and I reached, you know, um, like quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. I watched to guard won this tournament. So I'm kind of just focused on myself and I don't care about the other two players. Hi, congratulations. But the Thank tournament you. is over, and you probably have the time now to look at the the, the rest of the world. Uh, I'm not sure how much you are aware. There was there was some controversy during the tournament with um, uh, Arena and some questions she was asking. Things that happened. I was wondering how much of that kind of stuff do you let in in your bubble when you are in Grand Slam mode, and if you've had the opportunity to think about that, I was wondering if you could share your views with us. Well, I, I, I kind of stay in my bubble, um, honestly. The only thing I kind of do is just, you know, honestly just prepare for your questions, and and uh, um, I kind of just want to show good values and um, 
so I'm kind of like preparing to to do that before my press conferences. But um, I'm not using a lot of social media, and I'm not reading a lot. So um, honestly, if I didn't have like briefs from my PR team, I wouldn't even sometimes know about this stuff. Um, and I know that it may be weird because I should, you know, be aware what's going on. But um, but it's like the best way for me to really be focused and do my job properly. Uh, but after the tournaments, as you said, I always take time to kind of catch up with everything that um, that was going on, and um, obviously I heard what what happened. Well, well, the only thing I can kind of say is just to like repeat myself and my my views on how we as tennis community, I don't know, should be kind of um, together in doing like every effort to m make the Russian aggressive uh, aggression, you know, stop. And um, my support goes to all the Ukrainians because I know that their situation isn't easy. And um, and like if I would be in their shoes, I don't know if I would be able to compete, honestly. Uh, so I really, really respect them. And I want to kind of keep my focus on um, doing what's going to be right for 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 them and um, and yeah, that's all I can honestly say. Okay, we've got time for a couple more. We'll do Jonathan and then you know the last question. Jonathan. Eager, congratulations. You've lifted four Grand Slam trophies now. As we've said, the lid hasn't always stayed on. But could you lift the lid and tell us what do you want to achieve next? What do you think you can do in your career? How many more titles can you win? Do you really want me to do that, or was that a <laughs> metaphor? Um, no, like, honestly, I'm, I'm not really looking that far. Um, I'm just happy with what happened, you know, during these past few weeks. And um, I don't know what I'm kind of ca capable of. So uh, I'll work day by day to, you know, play the best game possible and to develop as a player. But um, I'm not setting, like, any like, these crazy records or goals uh, for myself. I'm... I know that keeping it cool is the best way to do it for me, so I'm I'm trying more to do that. Okay, last one here. Hello. Hello, yeah, congrats. Uh, your domination was complete during all the tournament. Uh, is it a regret to lose a set uh, today? <laughs> no, no, it's not, honestly. Um, again, it's something like... No, 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 I, I don't really... Well, it would be a regret if I would lose. I would know that probably the second set was the um, was my chance to win this match. But um, but no, I, I'm just happy that I won the third set, and that's the most important thing. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Iga, wielkie, wielkie brawa. Pozwól, że na początku poproszę Ciebie, żebyś stuknęła w ten puchar, bo to w radiu dźwięka już tak dwa razy ćwiczyliśmy w Paryżu. O. Będzie dobrze? Można, można. Iga, y, dzisiaj odniosłeś wielkie zwycięstwo, bo po raz trzeci w ogóle powtórzyć to wszystko wiadomo, że to niewiele osób mi się udaje, ale to też taka satysfakcja, bo wygrałeś sama sobą, bo było trudno, rywalka grała wspaniale, pięknie, a ty dałeś radę. Czy masz taką wewnętrzną satysfakcję, że jednak to zrobiłeś? Tak, jak najbardziej. A, no... Ten turniej na pewno nie był łatwy i mimo tego, że niektóre mecze szły gładko, to um, też 
po zakord tam po prostu czułam dość dużą presję i um, powrót tutaj jako defending champion i obręczenie tytułu, no nie był łatwy i mam, mam wrażenie, że trochę in, inaczej ten turniej wyglądał niż chociażby zeszłoroczny, więc ogromnie się cieszę, że udało mi się utrzymać koncentrację, dyscyplinę przed każdym meczem, naprawdę um, nastawiałam się w odpowiedni sposób i właśnie tak jak mówiłam, um, też ogromnie jestem wdzięczna za, za mój zespół um, Maciej, który sprawił, że mimo tego, że w Rzymie dostałam kontuzji i też w Indian Wars, po Indian Wars szybko wróciłam dzięki niemu, no, a jego wiedza po prostu, po prostu sprawiła, że w ogóle wyszłam tutaj na pierwszy mecz, co też dla nas nie było a, pewne od początku turniej, od początku przyjazdu tutaj do Paryża, więc a, no, jestem ogromnie za to wdzięczna, a Daria po prostu na co dzień, po prostu, jak mam jakieś cięższe momenty, a starzają się one podczas wielkiego szlema, który jest długi i stresujący, no, jest super wsparciem, więc więc um, cały team zrobił naprawdę świetną robotę i gdyby nie oni nie byłabym tutaj. Iga, Stanisław Wyrkspolsat, wielkie gratulacje. Dziękuję. Ja chciałem się zapytać, co dla ciebie ten trzeci tytuł oznacza? Jak, czy ty mu jakoś nadajesz dodatkowe znaczenie? Ja, i takie jest pytanie. Oj, szczerze mówiąc, to wszystko jest dla mnie takie świeże, że jeszcze nie wiem. E Myślę, że mam dużo wniosków do wyciągnięcia z tego turnieju. Tak samo jak US Open było trochę inne, bo, bo od początku nie czułam się na przykład dość komfortowo na korcie, to tutaj właśnie myślę, że ta presja towarzysząca całemu temu turniejowi i też wszystkie rzeczy, które dzieją się poza kortem i to, że byłam w stanie z nimi pracować. No tak, myślę, że, że dużo mogę się nauczyć i dużo mogę wyciągnąć, ale jeszcze nie do końca sobie to przeprocesowałam. Iga, po dwóch tygodniach tutaj już konferencje prasowe, to mi się nawet śnią z tobą i obiecałem sobie, że jak wygrasz, to zadam ci pytanie, które mi się przyśniło. Okay. E, Mam gdybyś przypać? miała wstecz, nie, myślę, że nie. Gdybyś miała wstecz spojrzeć już powiedzmy po zakończeniu swojej kariery, wbiegnijmy w przyszłość, wolałabyś wygrać 10 razy w Paryżu, ale nigdzie więcej już, jeśli chodzi o szlema, czy na, w każdym z czterech turniejów po trzy razy? No to miałabym 12, to. Nie rozumiem. No, co byś wolała? 10 tu czy po trzy wszędzie indziej? Po trzy wszędzie indziej. No to tak samo w moim śnie odpowiedziałaś. Super, to dobrze się znamy. Iga, gratulacje. Chciałem się zapytać, czy pamiętasz mecz, który był podobny do tego, to znaczy właśnie sama mówiłaś w części angielskiej o tym, że, że trochę jak na tej huśtawce, tak, raz do góry, raz do dołu i zwroty akcji. Czy przypominasz sobie taki mecz, który tak, taki zagrałaś już i który tak wygląda? No jakby nieważne, czy wygrany, czy przegrany, ale po prostu, który ci się zdarzył. No wydaje mi się, że wszystkie takie długie mecze trzysetowe, które... Oj, no nie wiem, na przykład, y, chociaż nie pamiętam dokładnie, jak wyniki przebiegały, ale wydaje mi się, że, y, że z Krejciką w Ostrawie, y, finał Madrytu w tym roku, um, też um, kojarzę takie mecze, gdzie po prostu mimo przełamania w drugim secie nie domknęłam, tak jak na przykład z Aleksandrową w Madrycie. Um, więc no, zdarzają się, ale będę pracowała nad tym, żeby w tym drugim secie utrzymać... Um, nie, nie wiem właściwie co, bo postaram się być tak samo skoncentrowana, grać tą samą, z tą samą taktyką i po prostu robić to, co mi działało, ale um, no wiadomo, ludzie nie są robotami, więc postaram się w tych drugich setach mimo wszystko domykać do mecza. Ale cieszę się, że tym razem w trzecim secie też wróciłam i byłam w stanie trochę um, użyć właśnie intuicji i trochę więcej luzu. Um, w przeciwieństwie do meczu z Krejczykowa. No tak, ale w ogóle wtedy i tak ogromnie byłam zadowolona z tego turnieju w Ostrawie, bo to był pierwszy turniej po US Open i zupełnie inne warunki, też bitwa między polskimi a czeskimi kibicami, dużo energii mnie kosztowała, więc wspominam dobrze tam ten mecz, tak czy siak. Ja mam, ale nie pytanie, tylko raczej gratulacje wielkie, Dziękuję. bo naprawdę fantastyczny wynik i w ogóle twoje wyniki z punktu widzenia naszego polskiego tenisa są no, absurdalnie niesamowite. Dziękuję. I mam pytanie do organizatorów. Czy byłaby możliwość tu przez Paulę zrobić sobie zdjęcie wspólne z Igą, z polskimi dziennikarzami teraz? To może je zrobimy później. Kiedy... To 
dobra, po prostu. No, byłoby to dla nas. Po... Ogarniemy. Bo... <laughs> okay. Dziękuję. To widzimy się później. Dobra, to czekamy. Dzięki. Postarajcie się podzielić i zastanowić się, jak byście.